Another important aspect of working with these large workbooks is how you get them set up to come out of the printer properly when you go to print them. So we're going to take a look at um, two main tools that will be uh, allowing us to kind of make sure everything's looking properly when we get these things on the physical printed paper. Um, so let's first start off by taking a print preview of what this large work uh, sheet's going to look like when I go to print. I'm going to do a control P and uh, that brings me to my print preview. Here's my first page. You'll notice that it kind of gets cut off. Not really looking too good. If I go to my second page, again, it cuts off the north region. Uh, we've got the south on there, though, which is all right. Uh, the third page has all the east region, um, some of the central cut off, and then that last page just looks plain lousy. So I'm going to go back to home here. Let's see what we can do to make this look a lot better. Um, the first tool I'm going to use is uh, my print titles tool. So that's going to be in my page layout tab. And I can go up here and set my print titles with this icon right here in the page setup uh, group. So when I click on print titles, it's going to go ahead and ask me, well, what rows do you want to repeat at top and what columns do you want to repeat at left? And the reason I'm doing this is because on the top of each page, I want my uh, title and I want all my headers coming across. And on the left part of each page, I want all of my products being displayed. So I know what all my values are going to be related to uh, when they're on my uh, pieces of paper. So I've got to select those first. I've got to tell Excel what columns and what rows I want on every page. So I'm going to click. Uh, on this rows to repeat at top all the way on the right this little button here uh, that's my selection button I'm gonna click on that and the rows I want at the top are from one to five so the way I'm selecting these again I'm just using my click and drag and I'm going from one down to five that puts that little dancing marque around it and then I will hit my selection button again that'll bring me back I'll go to my columns to repeat at left again I'll hit my selection button this time I'm gonna select uh, column A here and I will hit that selection button again so let's see what this will look like now. I've got my print preview shortcut right here, so I don't have to go back to print. I'll just click on this, and let's look at what changed. Now I've got uh, two more extra pages here. Instead of four, I've got six, but you'll notice when I go to my second page, check it out. I've got that title there. I've got my, uh, my column headers, and I've also got this um, product list, column A, on my worksheet on every single page. So at least that kind of organizes the data and it shows what those values are, uh, what they mean essentially, right? But it's added on a couple pages here. So let's see how we can control uh, how all those extra pages come out. So I'm gonna go back to, uh, actually let's go to my view tab here and I'm gonna take a look at my page break preview view. And this will allow me to look at where the data is being cut off when I send it to the printer. And these are things that we can actually change. So I'll notice that uh, just like we saw in the print preview, it's cutting off my north region here. It's also cutting off my south, east, and pretty much every region after that. So I will go ahead and fix this manually by just clicking on these blue lines. And again, these indicate where the data is being split. And I'm going to drag these to where I want them to actually split. So I'll go down here, and first thing I want to uh, change is uh, I don't need this extra white space underneath my totals. So I'm going to go down and click and drag that bottom blue line up to right underneath totals. So I'm not getting any extra space underneath that. Secondly, I'm going to reposition uh, these breaks to happen in between every section. So I'm going to come out and I'll have my four regions printed as four pages. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'll click on this first page break and actually I'm gonna drag this click and hold and drag it in between the total and quarter one so I get that north region uh, fully occupying page one I will do the south region I'm gonna drag the second break and bring it in between uh, south and east I'll do the same with my central and I've got an extra page break here that came up I'll put that between central and west so now when I go and do my print preview I should have a nice looking uh, four five page spreadsheet with one region on one individual page as long uh, as well with my um, column headers and my products on every page too so let's go check it out I go back to file I'll do my print let's see what it looks like not too bad there's my title I've got the whole north region on one page uh, my second page so it's the same except it's south there's my east central and there's my west so it looks a whole lot better we have one extra page but at least you know what all those values mean and it looks really nice nicely organized and professional so when we go and print this it's going to look a whole lot better